guys, it's Carrie here, back with another video. This time it's another new tech video. And it's been a while since I had one of those. And I just got a brand new Wacom Cinti Companion. And I got it on eBay, it was brand new, someone, and I got it under $600. And when I was looking at Cintiqs, because I wanted to upgrade uh, my tablet, because I was tired of having a laptop and then like plugging it in. Um, call it full -time, sorry, call, I'm a full-time college student now, and I work two jobs, and I just don't have the time to be carrying all these devices and all these dongles and cables was just driving me crazy and so the reason I wanted to make this video is because I always press um, the Cintiq companions right now they're at a really affordable rate especially used or new on eBay or Amazon or any retailer site and they're a lot older so I was wondering can they even keep up like will my laptop be a lot faster and so I was kind of like worrying when I was like ordering it and so I'm here to give you guys that peace of mind that I needed when I was first when I was like in that looking phase because it does hold up and I've been using it for about a week now and I do a lot more than just draw on my tablet using Paint Tool Sci. Paint Tool Sci is a light boy program it can run on almost anything it runs on toasters it's an amazing program, it's lightweight, I love it, it, only, it doesn't mean to take that much space on my USB, but it's not a great test of how um, strong something is. And also by just looking at some specs, can sometimes doesn't always regulate to daily use. And so I am I work for a video um, production company and I'm a part-time graphic designer, I do a lot of motion design work, and so I use this thing on a regular basis for not, for not just like one thing, so I use the whole Adobe Suite, and I'm telling you, it stood out amazing the first week. First of all, let me get you guys where I'm coming from, I, the things that I own, my laptop, the most powerful laptop that I have, well, the only laptop that I have is a Dell Inspiron 2-in-1, and it's i5, 8 gigs of RAM, 500 gigs hard drive not ssd the Cinti companion even though it came out in 2013 has an ssd and boy boy that that boots up fast and also another thing that i noticed is that since the Cinti companion is optimized for that kind of work i like right next to the power button you could choose power saving optimize and it does affect it the tablet does run a little slower if you put it on battery mode when you put it on performance mode it's god it's beast i was really worried about the ram because the ram is eight gigs and i have eight gigs on my laptop and sometimes i'll be struggling to have premiere after effects photoshop and illustrator open because i use all that for my work but this so far this Cintiq companion has been able to handle it smoothly and it's amazing to just have one device instead of carrying all these components that's the main reason that i got this i was debating on getting this or a surface pro 3 or 4 an older model like similar to this because i was up thinking about upgrading but i didn't have like a grand to spend so i was just kind of looking around the 500 600 area and if it was a little bit around my budget i would just like win another month and save up for it and so I was so lucky to find it at this price and another person actually, I saw her video, she was able to find it around 500 I'll like her video down below. So if you keep looking, you can find great deals on these. And again, back to the main topic, I was kind of like scared to get an older device, 2013 i7, it's a third gen but in real world use, the type of stuff that I do, I don't do a lot of 3D stuff, I'm looking to, to do I'm looking into further doing more 3D text and 3D modeling, but I haven't touched that yet. A lot of the stuff that I still do is 3D, so it's not like I'm not like the most powerhouse user to be telling you about this, but I'm about like medium, moderate, average uh, because to have Premiere open, After Effects, even I'm not, I don't run super extreme compressions in After Effects, but I run a good average, and so this has been totally worth it. <laughs> So far, the only con has been that it's pretty heavy. It's a little bit, it's about four pounds. It's about like a couple, half a pound, half a pound bigger than my laptop, which is a little bit of a con, but it, it's a little bit of a con 
when you're carrying it around and like going to college and stuff but it makes sense for it to be a little bit heavier because when you're working for long hours oh man it, it feels the sturdy like it's nice i tried the surface pro before um from friends and um at best buy and i feel like that's not as good for like long hours when you're really putting in the work when you're not just like sketching and doing like a quick doodle or like doing like some you know storyboard that's when you get to the main work it's really really amazing and so far i know a lot of people have been complaining about the stand. So far the stand has worked for me. It, at first I thought it was like a little flimsy putting it on but once it's on that does not come off. And I, I just have to say so far it's been holding up pretty amazingly. I don't think I'm gonna look for any third party um, stand so far. It works pretty well. I just wish it had more angles. That's the main thing. It can only go like so high up but you could just put a put your lap up in something and I love how it could work anywhere and also another amazing thing is actually the battery life it it's actually has lasted me the five hours the five hours on using illustrator and photoshop or doing some basic css on design and dreamweaver so far it has lasted me that and when I put it in power saving mode and if I'm just like on the planning stages it does last me throughout that afternoon or half of that day and so far, this tablet has been bomb and it really shocked me because I was had such bias of it since it came out like processors from four years ago. No way it could run in 2018. We're using 4K and all this stuff. As long as you're not using 4K, I haven't tried using 4K, but I had like this whole bias over it just because just by looking at the specs. But in real world use, it does everything that I need and it has been the best investment so far in my career. And I would recommend you guys to do the same and that's about it guys my first initial impressions or my thought i just wanted to get this video out quickly so if anyone because right now these cintiq companions they're pretty 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 cheap they're cheaper than the cintiq 13 hd which is it's still at 900 dollars for some reason so you should go grab one now if you if you can if you have the opportunity you can check it always make sure the seller has like the 30 day money back guarantee so if something happens you could mine came with like one year warranty plus the 30 day one so i'm so thankful for that but other than that this has been killer piece of digital device and i'm thinking about selling my laptop because i could do everything on it well another con is probably the storage but there's a micro sd but i have a one terabyte external so that doesn't affect me that much but other than that, that's been the much, pretty much, oh, also another con has been the speaker. The speakers are pretty, pretty shitty. <laughs> like, extremely shitty. So, use headphones or Bluetooth speakers. Other than that, everything else is pretty much good to go. So, and when I do get my hands on that surface, I'll definitely compare it to this. But so far, my next video is going to be comparing this to my old setup where I had to carry the USB USB tablet and how like my workflow changes a lot better now and another thing that I need to get is a keyboard <sighs> touch screen keyboard on this is also another shitty thing but I'm happy it comes with the option of that and so I had to buy like a really ugly um, um, wireless keyboard until I get like a nicer more compact one so that's been one thing and also the you need to get the handguard gloves um, I just ordered mine, it hasn't come yet, but for long periods of use, your hand starts sweating and then it affects the, the, the tablet a little bit and you have to recalibrate your pen. So that's also another thing to keep in mind. And I think I covered pretty much everything now. <sighs> it's only been a week, this tablet has fit into my busy schedule and I'm still thinking still looking to build a PC that's a lot more powerful than this but so far this has 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 done everything that I need it to do so hope you guys find this helpful if you're on the market for it any questions leave them down below I'm willing to help you out also be careful of sellers I know you I'm giving you advice to say oh go go grab these but look at the sellers double check and all this type of things and otherwise guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in my next video catch you guys later Bye!